Generic greetings and welcome back to Frostpunk. In the previous episode, we managed to expand our our outpost. As you can see, it's now got a lot more people, and also we're gathering more resources. And we've now got scouts because of the beacon. And generally, we're doing not too bad. Coal reserves are really high. Wood reserves are low, but we do have a um, sawmill here. The problem we have is food. Um, or rather, the problem uh, that we have is that we don't have any food. Uh, however, we ha we are sending people out and about, and they should be gathering 20 food a tick. Uh, no, it is a day, yes. So we're about to get 40 food, and then that food will be able to combine into a total of, was it, two raw food per five meals. So actually, we're going to get more uh, food rations than I wouldn't say we can do uh, anything with, but no, it's going to be all right, I think, for the food for the time being. It's just because of the way it ticks. And there you go, we've now got a thaw. So things are now thawing, and it's gone to, well, minus, it's now minus 30. So it's still cold, but it's going to be one, two, three, four days, and then it'll drop by one level again. So a little bit of a respite there. So most of these places should be uh, livable, yes. Uh, that one is uh, just chilly. I don't know why that one is livable. Oh, because it's a hunter's hut? That makes no sense. I don't know why. Hang on, let me turn on that and uh, even though... Oh no, there we go. It's just taking a while to, to heat up. There we go. So they're livable. So there is a chance, I believe, of... Um, yeah, very low chance of getting... Uh, very low risk of getting ill. Um, Steam Hub has now been researched, so let's have a look at the Steam Hub. It is there. What I want to do now is go for drawing boards, which is 50, so can I do that? Uh, probably not. Uh, however, the sawmill is... It's still saying it's not got any any path. It is ordered. That should have a path there. Why is there no pathing? There clearly is a path. Okay. Well, that turns it green doing that. So let's see if they actually do that. Scouts have returned with uh, raw food and wood. That's good. We'll send the scouts back out straight away. Over to the... Do you want to go for the observatory? We'll go to the observatory and then we'll go over to the shelter there. That's fine. So anyway, uh, what do we need to do? Well, I think it's going to be a case of uh, steam hub. So... When powered by a generator, these contraptions create an additional smaller heat zone around them. Each steam hub consumes three coal an hour. And it has to be placed like on a on a road type thing. So I'm gonna place it. Um actually what I'll do is I'll place the the tents first. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And then the hub can go there. And then this will be like a, a warm zone for all the people there. Excellent. Obviously, we have to build uh, some path as, paths as well with that. And then we'll build some down to there, along to there, and then along to there. Cool. Excellent. And that's still not connected to the generator. How is it not? Am I missing something? Hmm. Gathering post depleted. Ah, that's got nothing more to do. So we will disassemble that. And I think we will probably expand out to to there. Yeah, like that. Alright. I also want to start upgrading to the next level. Next to drawing board, you see. And once these are out, we're pretty much done. Although the coal, we've actually got almost more coal than we can store. So it's probably best if we build another resource depot. I'm going to put it there because there doesn't seem to be much else that I can fit there. And I think I might have messed this up because the coal, this coal here, is not allowing me to to build the... Uh, Thing all the way, or is it just like is there a little is there a little section that I haven't connected? Is that what is that what it is? No, it does seem to be fine. I don't know what's up there. That's strange. 
It is very strange. Anyway, that's a future me problem. So there's all of our houses, as you can see, and also that uh, generator is now working. Excellent. That's good. So that's uh, keeping all of these nice and warm. There you go, livable. It's going to use more coal. Uh, coal for about four days, apparently. 800 odd coal is still coal for only four days. Wow, okay. Um, we can... That's actually... Is that comfortable? Oh, yeah, that's that's now comfortable. Wow, okay. Um, just to make sure that these heaters are off, because we don't need them on. There's more storage. Uh, resource storage for coal. So we increase coal storage just in case we're going to go over the edge there. So that's our gathering post that we are dismantling. Because I think it's important that we uh, sort that out. Uh, not enough wood. And is that now working? It does say it's... It doesn't... It does state now that it's... Uh, it, it should be okay. So hopefully it is. Right, so... Um, coal getting pulled from there we've got good supply we do have a iron deposit over there and there is a coal deposit over there so I'll probably just extend to the left and right that's probably the way forward but we'll have a look at the book of laws again um, we've got uh, care houses we've got uh, all the things we can make medic apprentices or engineer apprentices um, education the key to our future let's teach our children medicine so they can help with the sick so children uh, from child shelters will help at medical facilities Raising their efficiency and engineers uh, will help the workshops in speeding up research. Well, I think uh, the sick, curing them faster is probably better. There's a new law. Discontent, very low. Hope, very, very high. Good. Um, we don't need any more tents. Food is fine. In fact, food storage, as you can see, is um, yeah, it's going up there. What I'm going to do is uh, turn that meal to uh, standard meals now. Um, does it tell you what sort of food rations it is? I don't think it does. Don't think it does. Anyway, um, the question is, can I can I get rid of roads? I've uh, paths, by the way. Yes, dismantle street. Yes, you can. Now I know. Cool. And then we'll crack on. So they're going to go head out over that way. We will have to build a gathering post, which I will put in uh, there. We're out of wood, it says but people should be working in the sawmill. Close this time of day. That's fine. Could uh, crack on wheel with a with a 24-hour shift. Do I need to? Discontent's low. We might as well. We'll do a 24-hour shift. Discontent will rise. But getting that going, getting wood, probably important. So there we go. Oh! One of our per people has died. First death. One of our people has just died. Sickness accidents and deadly cold. Um, they wouldn't have been working if they were ill, so I think that is just an accident. Open the Book of Laws. We will have to get... Oh, we need to We need to wait one day, five hours, and we'll get a cemetery. Or a uh, corpse disposal. We'll, we'll have a read of those when the time comes. Uh, I could probably... End emergency... Uh, so, our uh, death of overwork. One of our people died suddenly during an emergency shift. I will say end emergency shift then. Fine. Okay. Oh, well. Um, I didn't expect that. I really didn't. Okay. I guess it can happen. Uh, there's the sawmill going, as you can see. Alright. So, that's working. Coal... Um, he's going down a lot faster than I thought. I guess, however, we are heating uh, many areas. Now, that, that heater is off. Let's put that heater on. Or rather, it should be on once people are... Once people need to work there. Yeah, while there are people inside. Yeah, so we'll turn those heaters on. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. And then there's that there that's working as well. Okay, so. Uh, speed it up. At least we're alive. Not everybody's so lucky. You can see the comments and such are... You know, they do change as um, things go up and down. Uh, the, the discontent and hope go up and down. So we'll explore the uh, observatory. Wow, that looks really cool. The sun is dimming. Instead of astronomers, we met by some of our lost people. They explained they came here looking for help, but found everybody dead. 
Yes, astronomers continue their observations until they're starved. What was so important to them? Uh, they wrote it on their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the falling of the atmosphere uh, by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Uh, so I will say... Um, yeah, escort the survivors to the city, I guess. Come back with them. Excellent. So... Wood is going up, that is fine. We can make... Don't need another hunter's post, but we do need, really now, uh, more coal. Um, is more research. So that'll be in resources. Uh, so sawmill, and really we need the, the coal mine, not the coal thumper. Which we can get. Yes, we can. Um, once we've done that. So let's just max this out a bit. Drawing boards researched, excellent. So we now do level two, as you can see. So coal mining and wall drill. What's that? Drills walls are all created, uncovering trees that once formed forest in the are before the Ice Gulf. Then provides 160 wood per stand workday. Oh, cool, excellent. Uh, we'll go for the coal mining then. So, oh, and that does require a steam call, though, but we do have one. We've also got a charcoal kiln, which is a. It's a. Um, it allows us to produce. Uh, coal from wood, essentially. Uh, we've got a hot house. No, a hot. Uh, what? Hot, uh, is that a hot house? Yes. I was to build hot houses. Yeah, it is uh, a greenhouse, essentially. We've also got a bunk house, dwelling for ten people, in, 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 adequately protected from the weather. So it's slightly better. It's a tent, basically. We've got generator power upgrade. Raise the temperature all heat zones by one, and uh, generator range upgrade. And the generator is, heat is doubled. Uh, use is doubled. More scouts. That's good. I think, however, it is important to go for coal mining. I think we need to make sure that we've got a constant supply of coal. Because if that runs out, it's game over. That's pretty much that's it. You're done. Uh, that has now finished uh, everything. So we will, yeah, we will get rid of that. No resource in range. We'll dis disassemble that, and then we'll delete the bit of road. Um, seven sick uh, with some gravely as well. And some of them going to work, which is very, very strange. We still have workers in the medical post. Um, so why are they... Ah, oh, there we go. Some of them going to work. Um, we probably need, then, another medical post. Ideally, another medical post. Yeah, yeah. Um, where do I put it, though? Because if I put it here, it's in, uh, like, cold areas, and that's not something I want at all. Probably there then, maybe. Yeah, I think it's important that we do that. We can get hospitals and such as we progress on. Uh, another coal pile is depleted, so that one's only got 400 coal. And once that's used up, there's only these ones here, which oh, 15 and uh, 42. Yeah, so basically we are running out of coal very, very quickly. So it's important that we get that sorted sooner rather than later. So there's coal pile depleted over here. And there you go. There's both. There's both depleted. It was. It was literally that quick. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's go for max the engineers out. So that should hopefully cure the sick there. So nine being treated, uh, non in palliative care. So coal mining researched. Excellent. We will then proceed to mine with a coal mine. And as you can see, it's uh, placed in these areas here. So it is placed there. So we'll snap it into position, and we might go ahead. And make another one. I don't know yet. I haven't yet decided um, next to it. But we'll place that there. We'll build the uh, the path to it as well. And then we'll max that out. And however, steam cars. We've just used our first steam car. Steam cars are necessary. Uh, are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cars in the city. So let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. There you go. That's important to note. So, scouts have returned. Uh, 16 engineers, 12 workers, 4 children. Okay, good. Uh, let's go and send the uh, scouts out to the sturdy shelter. And we will now have to build more people. Also, we need to uh, do more technology research as well. Which does cost wood, by the way. I don't know if I point that out, but uh, it does cost wood. We'll go for a steel works there. And we'll crack on with that. Uh, build people, tents... Want one, two, and that's all I can build for the time being. 
but that will get built sooner rather than later. You can see people are taking shortcuts across here. That's not too bad. And we will say workers max. So that's going to produce coal. And we'll heat that as well. That's fine. And I don't know whether these run out. I don't know whether the coal mines run out or not. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Um, let's go to there with the road. Do people actually have access to that? Uh, raw food for about three hours, apparently. Although, yeah, that's almost that's going to get uh, sorted soon. Ten hours until our. Until our scouts find the settlement. So, steel is 61. This has now got people there, workers. That's not going to work. Ah, yeah, so it looks like it. It does, uh, yes, it looks like it can run out. I mean, there's 10,000 coal in there, though, so hopefully we'll be okay there. Four sick, zero gravely. Um, we do need to enact some law. Cemetery. Oh, less than an hour to sign a new law. Okay. There we go. So we can, we can have, have corpse disposal, new building snow pit, no risk of disease, and bodies prevented from potential future use. Uh, you have to dig snow pit. Hope will fall. Discontent will rise. Cemetery, though. Hope will rise slightly. No risk of disease. Um, each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours and have to establish a cemetery. I'm going to sign that. I'm going to, I'm going to say cemetery. So the cemetery will go in... Um, I don't really know. Probably, it doesn't need to be heated, so we can put it really anywhere we want. I'm going to put it on this third tier, that's for sure. So, probably in here. There, I think. Although, not entirely in good taste, uh, putting the cemetery close to the sawmill where the accident happened, but, you know. There we go. So we'll max that out. We'll build a couple more homes. We do need to get a better home for people. Cemetery established hope rises. Discontent now going down. Steelworks are now researched. So we can do that if we want to. Uh, wall drill, sawmill upgrade. Allow us to introduce workplace improvements that will raise the efficiency of sawmills and steam sawmills by 25%. What does that mean, efficiency? Do we get more for more bang for the buck? Or are we are we wasting less? Hmm. Resource deposit upgrade would be quite good as well. Uh, but I'm going to go for more scouts. Actually, I think scouts are, more scouts are better. Having a couple of sets of scouts is always going to be useful for us. Scouts have reached the sturdy shelter. We'll explore then. Trail leads to another city. Shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. Notice uh, posted by the heavily round door. To all scientists, if you use supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there is another city out there. Excellent. Signpost, the trail points in two directions. London, uh, London, or Nodnall. <laughs> We're going to Nodnall. Uh, 1,934 miles. Um, home, 27 miles. Sites discovered steel bridge. So we'll take the resources, which is, ooh, it is wood, food, and a steam car. That's important. Important. We also have a bridge here right next to us, so we will go to the bridge and we'll see what is there. Excellent. So, uh, we now have a cemetery. There you go. Important that we've got that. Um, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to have a problem there. Temperature will drop uh, one level in a moment, so we'll probably fire up the... Uh, we'll probably fire up the... Um, the generator a bit more. Probably go to overdrive. Although steam level 2 will be quite good. But we haven't got that research just yet. So resources. That's not the resources. That's the research tree. Resources. Steelworks. So we'll place the steelworks in there. And connect it up. Like so. And although we could do that. And it's at least got some connections there. Okay, that's good. So, free time now. 
Uh, but we'll crack on with that. Uh, we do have more people to work, which is fantastic. And we'll also be able to make more scouts. Uh, we won't because we don't have a, we don't actually have the wood. Uh, you do need a total of. Oh, let's uh, assign people to there. You do need people to. Uh, you do need forty wood, I believe, to uh, to get that going. Uh, so first amputation. Save patient's life. We had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. So we must do something about it. Oh, I see. So we must do something about it. We can go for care house. And prosthetics. Sign the care house. Listen, everyone. New law is Which requires up to 20 gravy ill and amputees cared for here receiving half food rations. Well, if they're not working, hmm. The scouts have reached a bridge. Explore. So, a functional automaton. Ooh, we stopped on the bridge uh, uh, on the edge of a deep, a wide ravine, marvelling at the steel bridge spanning it. Very nice. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Sites discovered, weather station and large convoy. Send it to the city which gives us an automaton or disassemble it for two steam cores and 91 steel. I'm going to send it to the city so we can have a free automaton. So it's going to come this way and we'll be able to assign that to certain tasks. However, you do not want to assign it to tasks such as uh, gathering coal because, well, I'll Try to, I'll probably explain that later. Uh, well, oh, basically, uh, if you sign it to gathering coal, and the, the way it works is it has to fuel itself up, and you uh, send it gathering coal, and then it stands up, stops gathering coal, goes over to the generator to fuel up, and then you run out of coal, then you can never gather coal again, and you have to change things around, and it's a big nightmare. Anyway, so, uh, the deserted bridge. Um, finding the bridge to Winterholm proved that we are on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? Are there local explanations, or logical explanations to it all? People are growing anxious, yes. So hope falls slightly, which it has now done. We are going to send... Actually, what do they have? I'm going to send... Do you want to send everybody back, or do you want to go to a large convoy? Probably the large convoy. And then I'll send the scouts back, I think. And it's going to take one day, 18 hours, 17 hours for the automaton to come back. But I think we will leave it there. Not a bad episode. I was a bit worried about the coal situation, but as you can see, it's not too bad now. But we are going to get, it's going to get a bit colder here, so it's going to go to minus 40. But we do have enough coal, hopefully, to get through all of that. We certainly have, um, I think, enough resources to keep going with it. Although, if we just spin the camera around, we can see that there is a coal deposit there. Loads of loads of frozen trees as well, so that should be fine. However, the problem that we have is that... Oh, there's another bit of iron there. And then... And then another bit of coal there. So, in the short term, not too bad. This coal, uh, coal pile is about to run out. So, in the short term... I think we're doing okay. We just have to think of the long and obviously the explore, uh, exploration and stuff. But we should get another set of scouts up next episode. Keep on it looking around and yeah, hopefully do all right. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.